All right, so uh, any questions that I can answer? And uh, three weeks ago, I was at Burning Man in the Nevada desert. Great. With a population of only 75,000, there was a lot of shit. <laughs> So I was like, is this what Mars is going to be like? Just a dusty, waterless shitstorm? I've got a gift for you. It's a comic book called The Future of Fusion. It's about the first man on Mars. Okay. Looks like you. I can't get past El Chapo's militia, though. So I don't know, should I just throw this onto the stage? You're going interplanetary, but you're not going international. When are you going to hire people from other countries than the U.S.? So you mathematically determine the world's most expendable human being to make the journey, and that's Michael Sarah. So I wanted to see if this is like a project that you might have any interest in supporting. Um, Funny or Die just drove 31 million views to a like Hillary Clinton's Zach Galifianakis video a few days ago. I'm just curious about what type of initiatives you have in mind for uh, answering the question of why and increasing public interest and in actually desiring to do such a thing that's so vast and uh, complex. In behalf of all the ladies, can I go upstairs and give you a kiss, a good luck kiss? <laughs> Who should these uh, men and women be? Maybe children too. Who should these people be carrying the light of humanity to Mars for all of us? And are you going to go to Mars? Because I, I would hate to put in all this work and then not go. And also, do you intend to be the first man on Mars? But I have a question. In the back of your head, have you been thinking about interstellar travel? Uh, what I want to change a little bit topic, I have have a startup uh, to make uh, electric public transport buses to, to convert space it. space questions only sorry oh, sorry the thing is I just have my prototype outside it would be awesome if you could go out and see it